another edition of POP, the ISU Anthropology Podcast. On this edition, Homo floriensis, new discoveries in rat fossils that may just change everything we know about them. I'm Tony Sharnick. And I'm Aaron Gilpin. And this is POP. What is Homo floriensis? So, Homo floriensis is a very tiny species of Homo found only on the Indonesian Isle of Flores. Now, when I mean tiny, I mean it's probably about three feet tall at most, which is why they have been dubbed the Hobbits. So, now this could be due to the um, island dwarfism, which has led to this pygmy effect which has also been seen in other species that are found on the island, like uh, pygmy elephants. So, but that's not the only thing that makes them unique. Now, these, this species was found, or is thought to have been on the island from between 100,000 years ago to about 60,000 years ago. Um, the only site that we have so far is Ling Bao, or is that how you say it? Ling Bao, yeah. So, now there's evidence, despite the, the limited evidence in the fossil record, we do have evidence of stone tools. And so, and these aren't like your typical, like, you know, just banging rocks together. Like, these are very sophisticated stone tools that the, the species was capable of making. And while we don't know where they came from, for sure, there's this idea, there was an old idea that they were just a pocket species that evolved from Homo erectus, but it's still, uh, most people do not subscribe to that idea anymore. So. Whoa, pal, I think I know something even more exciting than all of this. Nobody wants to talk about your rats, Tony. Neurine fossil record impact on HF. I well, you hear. know that there was another mammalian species that mirrored these uh, changes as the Homo floriensis did. Tony's in rats. This, in this cave system of Ling Bao, the, uh, there were rats that migrated here. And we know from the fossil record, which is plenty... And it's theorized that they were the, the main source of prey for Homo floriensis. Now, were these, like, tiny rats? Or, like, the ones I might see in New York? Or were these, like, something bigger that, like, might eat your cat? Well, that depends. Because as they lived in the cave, they started... The caves and the near out, n- nearby surroundings of the cave system, they encountered dwarfism themselves and they shrunk but it, it's interesting with the new fossil record that we see these changes in their in their size and so at one period they were massive rats that could have hunted the hobbits that's terrifying yes but we see this weird shape uh increase in size as they seem to have migrated away from the cave and into more open spaces. Um, and, it seemed as, and it seems that at this point, at the rat exodus from the cave system, that we see Homo floriensis slowly disappear from the fossil record. So what, do you think that they just up and left, went somewhere else that we just don't know about, or did they just kind of all just drop dead? Well, we don't know for sure. Was there a climactic effect that hurt these populations? Or are there, especially the Homo floriensis, or are the rats and their disappearance interrelated? I don't know, but I would think that, you know, climate change will get you like it is today. So, I mean, climate does have a big effect on, you know, human, just our species by ourselves. But I can subscribe to the idea that climate change had an effect. But there's also another theory that 
um, that the Homo floresiensis may have been around to meet modern human humans because it is also believed that the reason why the rats increased in size again was because of the clearing the clearing of the foliage near the caves to uh, make way for the pastoral lives of the humans that moved in. So when people brought agriculture, they cleared the forest, which meant the rats could be bigger, right? Yes, but we can't go on and speculate like this because we don't want people thinking we're a cable news outlet. Yeah, we're definitely better than cable news. Just a little bit, but it seems that's why the mystery of the hobbits is so appealing because there are all these crazy hypotheses surrounding what happened to them. I think they went to the morgue. <laughs> oh, well. Well, this has been another edition of our public outreach program. Do I am. Oh. Do I am. Do I am. Oh.